students returning to this school will soon be facing an all-new disciplinary process. I'm Peter Tarabarelli for News 11, and I'll tell you what will get them in trouble coming up. Almost all of us have gotten into trouble at least once when we were in school, but a new approach to dis discipline is being tested at one local high school. News 11's Peter Tarabarelli has their story. Detention, suspensions, they're all things that haunt those who break school rules, but not at Lancaster Catholic High School. At least, not anymore. The school has just enacted a new style of enforcement called restorative justice, and it is something new to the area. The focus is on changing the behavior instead of just punishing the student. The difference here would be if they get a detention, if a teacher feels that that's necessary, they're still going to do that. But there's tools um, in restorative practices that we can use to discuss with them how they got there in the first place, why did they get the detention, why did they act out in the way that they did, and what can we do to change that behavior so that you don't do it again. Lancaster Catholic is the first school in the county to dedicate an entire staff position to this style, and it's already being welcomed. Their response has been great. They've been very supportive. I basically asked them to take, you know, a leap of faith with me. It's new. I get that. It's one more thing. They have a lot on their plate. So they're agreeing with me right now to trust me and to just take this first step and, and seeing if it can improve, you know, the school vibe, the climate, and how we deal with each other. The program will be initiated as soon as students return for school. It will be a combined effort from teachers, parents, and other faculty members to keep students in school and out of trouble. That affects everything that they do. You know, if they're getting in trouble, they're getting suspended not just from school, but from activities that they care about. And, you know, it's going to affect them later in life if they learn how to deal with their issues now as, as teenagers. So hopefully when they become adults and they leave here, they can learn from mistakes instead of keep repeating the same ones. For News 11, I'm Peter Tarabarelli.